My name is Fabian Clive and by profession I am a teacher. I am in the field of teaching for the last 21 years. I believe that education in Pakistan is far behind. Through this YouTube channel I want to give a sort of advice to the parents and students that how they can help their child to make their dreams turn into reality. I will be glad if you like my channel, subscribe it and share it among your family and friends. Hello viewers, today's video is very very important and very very interesting. In most of the cases we have seen in the last 2-3 years that the school management is unable to decide a number of things. Due to COVID, the, it creates a chaos for the first term, for the mid term, even for the final term. In this video, I will be sharing that how we can plan the activities for the whole year starting from the 1st of August. As in Sindh, in most of the cases, the school starts in the month of August and it ends in the month of May. So in this, I'll be telling you a detailed description about it, that how the first term will take start, how the second term and the third term. The first term starts from the 1st of August and finish on 31st October. There will be 50 marks test and the PTM will be in the last week of October. In the same way, second term will start from the 1st of November and is going to end on the 31st of Jan. 50 marks formative and 50 marks summative. PTM will be in the last week of January. In the same way, final term starts from the 1st of February and end on the 15th of May. 50 marks formative and 50 marks summative. PTM will be in the last week of May. I hope it's clear to you. Co-curricular activities. It is very, very important for the students especially. If the parents are informed in advance, it becomes very, very easy for them that what sort of activities will be done in the school. Some of the activities which can be held in the school are orientation meeting, English literary meeting, Urdu literary meeting, sports excursions. In the coming slide, I will be sharing you in detail about each one of them and they play a very very important role for the students performance. They not only improve in the studies but they bring a positive change to be confident and to know what are the abilities which are being gifted for them and I will be explaining to each one of them. Other activities can be picnic and mela in societies. Now I will explain you in detail what is orientation meeting. Orientation meeting is the meeting in which the parents are told in advance regarding all the activities which will be held in the school starting from the first term till the last term and the co-curricular activities especially. It can be the English literary meeting, it can be the Urdu literary meeting, it can be sports. As it helps them to be confident and to share or give the abilities to other children also. In most cases the students they feel shy and they feel that I cannot do this but with the help of teachers the students bring a positive change. Sports is very very important and should be held on weekly basis and should be held once a year to know the different abilities in the students. Excursions. Excursion is very very important. Sometimes the students are not aware about many things which they should know. They only know about book but they should visit different places. It can be a Kaide Azam house, it can be a beautiful art gallery, it can be the different artists of Pakistan, it can be the visit to Munjidaru, it can be something which they want to discover. In this way whatever they have studied in the book, when they experience from their own eyes then they remember it for good which they can't forget it forever. Then there should be a picnic, an annual picnic can be organized for students to make them feel happy and in the same way annual mela should be organized. Annual mela is very very important. Why it's important because in the school we can find a number of students who got the fees dues and they are unable to pay. The parents they face many issues regarding the fees 
and sometimes in the last they get a leaving certificate but the annual mela can be a support for them to raise the funds and this can be from primary to lower secondary to matric involving every other section and the purpose for this is to raise funds and this can be a big help for the students who cannot pay the fees so it will be helpful for the school as well for the students what is society society is something in which the students take part beside the co-curricular activities because there are number of students who don't take part at all and for them there should be a some alternate plan in the society is something like a alternate plan which can tell them that they got some abilities which they can share and it is very useful for the students to gain confidence and to share their abilities with others the different kind of societies which can be held in the school it can be the arts and crafts society it can be the english literary it can be the ultra literary it can be the ecological it can be the harmonic society it can be the zero hunger society it can be the sports society in the new slide i'll be sharing you in detail but if you want to know something more about it do write a comment about it thank you very much have a wonderful day